Hello, I'm Giovanni, a technical support agent here at AWS. Today I'll show you three tools that you can use to protect your AWS account and prevent unexpected charges. Let's get started. A great way to protect your account is to supplement your password with multi-factor authentication, also known as MFA. Using multi-factor authentication adds another layer to verify your identity at login and reduces the risk of a compromised password. First, sign into the AWS Management Console as a root user or AWS Identity and Access Management user with appropriate permissions. Then, select your username at the top right corner of the AWS Management Console. When the drop-down list appears, go down and choose Security Credentials. Now go down to Multi-Factor Authentication and select Assign MFA Device. A menu appears with three MFA options. AWS supports virtual MFA devices created by authenticator applications, security keys, and other hardware options. Choose a name for your MFA device, and then when you are ready, select Next on the MFA menu. You are then guided through the steps to sync your device. When you've completed the process, a pop-up menu appears, telling you that you've successfully completed the process to authenticate your device. And on the Your Security Credentials page, your MFA device also appears. Now, when you log in, you have an additional step where you enter authentication codes generated from your chosen MFA method. Note, activating MFA for the root user affects only root user credentials. IAM users in the account are distinct identities with their own credentials, and each identity has its own MFA configuration. Now that we have strengthened your login, it's time to set up proactive monitoring for cost and usage on your AWS account. Let's select your username at the top right corner of the console. This time, let's go down to Billing Dashboard. Select Budgets from the left-hand navigation menu. Budgets focus on cost planning, enforcement, and forecasting. They support linked accounts, and they can send alerts if your cost or usage exceed or are projected to exceed set spending limits. To create a budget, choose Create Budget. AWS offers simplified setup with preset recommended configurations and advanced setup that allows deeper configuration of time periods and specific accounts. Both simplified setup and advanced setup have templates that assist you in setting up a budget for your AWS account. Choose Setup, Template, and then enter an email under Email Recipients for receiving budget alerts. When complete, scroll down to Create Budget. Now you can see your budget on the Budgets Overview page where you can edit, delete, or create another budget. Another great tool to monitor usage are billing alarms. To get started, go to the bottom left corner of the Billing Dashboard and select Billing Preferences. Under Preferences, turn on Receive Billing Alerts by selecting the checkbox. Note, after you turn this on, this preference can't be turned off. Turning on Billing Alerts allows you to create a billing alarm. Select Manage Billing Alerts to get started. Billing alarms exist within the Amazon CloudWatch console. To create a billing alarm, select Alarms from the left-hand navigation menu. Select Billing from the left-hand navigation menu. Select Create Alarm. Billing alarm thresholds can either be static or anomaly detection. After specifying metrics and conditions, select Next to configure actions. Here, choose your email notification preferences. If needed, configure actions. When complete, go down and choose Next. Here, you can add a name and description to your alarm. Select Next to proceed. Finally, you can review and create your alarm. And there you have it. Now you know three tools that you can use to protect your AWS account and prevent unexpected charges. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.